All right, Ball State and Northern Illinois. We've got NIU 10-point home favorites, 42-43 the total in this game. I'm coming back to the well here with Ball State. Uh, getting 10 in this game. Um, They're being penalized in the betting markets and by odds makers for their bad start. And it was a bad start to the season, no doubt. But we always see this in college football. Team gets off to an absolutely terrible start. They're getting their ass kicked. And we saw it. Kentucky, Georgia, uh, Georgia Southern, those three blowout losses. Western Michigan was a horrible loss. They just four brutal losses in a row for Ball State against FBS competition. Uh, And Eastern Michigan was a pretty bad loss. So you might as well say five straight blowout double digit losses against FBS foes for Ball State. And then all of a sudden they start to improve. You know, they take Toledo, one of the best teams in this conference, down to the wire, 13-6. They beat Central Michigan as dogs, 24-17. They nearly beat Bowling Green last week, 24-21 as dogs. So all of those early season struggles are now providing you with value on Ball State because they're playing better and the odds makers and the betting markets and the price hasn't caught up to them. You know, uh, this Kelly kid at quarterback's not great throwing the ball, but he can move, he can run. Northern Illinois doesn't have a great run defense. And you look at Northern Illinois, last week they were favorites. They lost outright against Central Michigan on the road. And Central Michigan hasn't been that good this year. 11 and a half point favorites against Eastern Michigan and they only win that game by seven. You know, their only win by margin of t- more than 10 in MAC play was at Akron, 55-14, in a game where it was turnovers for Akron that really allowed them to get have that game get away from them. You know, uh, so they have not really done a, uh, a a portrait of winning games consistently by a big margin like this. So I like Ball State once again here. I was on them last week. I've been on them a couple of weeks now in a row. We'll go back to Ball State here. Mike New has got that offense operating a little bit. More than anything, the defense is really – uh, stepped their game up the last three weeks for Ball State. Ball State allowing 21 or 24 or less uh, in the last three games uh, entering this matchup. So defense has improved. Northern Illinois, not a team I trust to win by this kind of margin. And Ball State is staying them in games right now the last few. So for me, it's Ball State plus the points. Uh, C-Mac, what do you think here? Yeah, I think there's two th- things. They, you know, how bad Ball State was early on. They're not giving them anything, how well they put it. And they're just a little high on this Northern Illinois team. You know, even last week, you know, they had the same record as Central Michigan. They were laying six on the road, <laughs> you know, six, six and a half. And now they're laying a big number here. You know, and in the last 10 years, there's been a couple blowouts, but that was, you know, nine, 10 years ago with Northern Illinois. These have been close games between these two. You, you mentioned it. They can run it. And they did that last week. That's why they were in it uh, against Bowling Green. They just ran it down their throat. Yeah, Kelly's not going to do anything special. Uh, we talk about the quarterbacks uh, throughout the MAC here. He's not very good. But Northern Illinois can't stop the run. I think Ball State will be in this game. And if they are in it, I'm not going to maybe mess with the total. It's got to be a little scoring. Like last week, if you got to 21, I think they cover. Like they get 20 here. I think they cover the numbers just a little bit inflated here with Northern Illinois. Yeah, I agree. Now, Rocky Lombardi, good quarterback, but again, that defense starting to fall apart again for Northern Illinois. And I mean, that was a bad defensive effort. Now, I know there was weather and there was some snow and some cold weather last week and all those MAC games. We saw it, but still, to give up 37 points to Central Michigan, not a good showing from that uh, defense. And that's now multiple times on the road here. Or, Uh, That's now multiple times where we've seen, you know, sent Northern Illinois defensively, you know, struggle a little bit this year. Uh, And, um, you know, Ball State's starting to gain a little bit of traction on offense. I mean, they're not lighting it up, but compared to what they were doing, scoring, you know, 20, 45 points uh, combined in their last two games is definitely improvement uh, for Ball State's offense, no doubt.